Okay, so today I wanted to demonstrate that amplitude does not affect the period of a pendulum. We know that by changing the mass, it changes the period. And we know that by changing the spring constant, or the spring itself, which has a different spring constant, it changes the period. But what we want to do here is we want to pull this down a little bit and let it oscillate and see how the period is affected. So I'm not even going to measure an exact distance. I'm just going to pull it down a little bit, and I'm going to let it oscillate a little bit, and I'll hit Start on the left side when it reaches its max, and I'll let it do that for 10 trials. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have about 12.91. Okay, I'm going to pull it down a little bit further, and I'm going to let it go. Now it's rubbing against the stick. We don't want that to happen. I'm going to get this, push the stick back a little bit, but you get the idea. It's pulled down further. Let it go. It's a very big amplitude. We'll reset. Once it's at the top, we'll start it. Set that that didn't start exactly correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, right around twelve and a half. Um, if I if I pull it down really far, pull it way down to the desk, it's really going far. You can see the top of it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there again. And so we get these constant periods. It does not matter if it is, it does not matter if it is pulled down a little bit or a lot. It moves a lot faster when it's pulled down more, but it covers a greater distance, and the period, the amount of time is still the same. If you have any questions, let me know.